All right, it's 5.09. We're listening to the deafening roar. And we're going to get something done today. Welcome to my hobby desk. We're going to get several somethings done today. And one of those is going to be the last of our glazes of this yellow. And I'm just going to do it this morning. And however it turns out, that's just how it's going to turn out. We are going to take some flesh wash. And we're going to dab this in the eye sockets of the skulls and a little bit around the recess detail. We're also going to hit the uh, grip, uh, not the grip piece, but the punchy in the face piece here of the sword. And a little bit of the kind of indented portions of the crossbones just to catch those recesses. We're also going to do this on the chest bit that is here. And after this, we're going to be able to do some highlighting and we will be done with these parts. All right, this is dry now and we can start working on the base. So we're going to do Mechanicus standard gray here on the stone and we're going to end up doing two layers of this. We're going to do this piece of concrete just like we've done all the pieces of concrete and the train we're playing on. So we're going to follow this up with some dry brushing. We are now going to use some burnished gold and we're going to use the highlight the gold bits and uh, we're just going to do upper edges and corners. We're going to do the top parts of the skull and the top cross pieces on the skull imagery. And uh, we're probably just going to do one layer of this. It's quite bright and looks pretty good. All right, we are going to be breaking out our Dawnstone and we are going to use this to a dry brush our piece of concrete. We're going to just focus on the edges and textured parts. The flat part on top won't catch any of the pigments or will catch very few of the pigments from the brush. Now we'll be doing Enchanted Blue, we're going to use this to paint all over all of the texture. This is going to be the foundation of our ice effect. Now we're going to be taking Wolf Grey, and we're going to use this to do an edge highlight around the shoulder pad. Now I'm going to do a dry brush of the wolf gray around our piece of concrete. I'm being pretty careful because I didn't wait for the enchanted blue to dry and I don't want to get them mixed up here on my brush. I'm going to take our glacial blue. I'm just going to use this to hit the corners here on the shoulder pad. All right, we're going to take rune fang steel and we're going to be doing some highlights on the silver metal. We're going to start by doing some dry brushing here on the letters. I'm going to do this in several small layers, building up the amount of brightness over several dry brushes. That way it gets to the tone that I want. We're 
We're going to use the same technique here for the main portion of this Under Armour here on the front of the Space Marine and this a lot of good edges here that will catch really nicely with a dry brush. I'll probably pick up some Vallejo Model Air Chrome that seems to be one of the nicer bright metallics that people like to use. For now the Rune Fan Steel is the brightest metallic I have on my silver side. blue wash and we're going to put this over the entirety of the blue portion of the base uh, waiting for this to dry is what prevented me from finishing this base this morning Going to edge highlight and uh, do a little bit of layering on a few of the more metal areas just to bring up some brightness on the most raised edges or top portions. So hit the tiny rivets at the corners of the gun and did a little bit of highlighting on the grapple portion and the little uh, metallic portion at the back as well. And we're going to do a little bit on the backpack just to bring up some brightness and then hit these round parts on the sides of the helmet as well. That is all I had time for this morning. If you hobbied and made a video, please link it in the comments below. I would love to take a look at it. We're going to have to let the wash on this base dry. But once we get that tackled and get our main torso here attached to it, we should be able to assemble our mini, and this guy will be done. So until then, have a good one.